In simple terms, an economy is defined as the intersection of demand and supply, which then affects price. Everybody agree with that? Um, if, if you did any kind of economics in school or, or in university, this would have been mandatory. The intersection of demand and supply. So when demand rises and supply falls, prices rise. When demand falls and supply rises, price falls. And there's a whole host of permutations. Sounds simple. And the thing about the internet and what's driving this economy to be even quicker than it's ever been is transparency. Prices, demand, and supply are now happening in real time. It's, there's, there's, there's no lags anymore. So there's this constant push and pull that directly affects the price of a product. We want to know where the price is going because we've got this dynamic demand, supply, and pricing that is happening right now, but where is it going in the future? And there, therein lies the next piece of transparency, and that is demand and supply data will start to become transparent. It's not yet transparent. Demand data is at a granular level is only transparent in one of our tools at car level. Other than that, the consumer doesn't see any demand data at granular level. So only you see it if you want to. Supply data is in dumb form. It's lists of cars on websites like Autotrader on your website. Very difficult to establish supply side data. But as soon as we start to make intelligence out of that, the supply side data starts to add value. So what we did as a brand is we started to get ahead of this curve. Is we produced one of the first industry reports because we realized that this world of transparency is coming. Let's rather get the industry ready for it before the consumer gets their hands on this data. So we produced this industry report. You can download it for free at reports.autotrader.co.za forward slash industry. And it gives aggregated demand data because the commoditization of prices Demand and supply are a reality in this attention economy. So if the currency that we're working with is the attention of the consumer in this transparent world of demand, supply, and price, how do we get the consumer's attention? How do you get the consumer's attention in this quagmire of the internet that we live in? where it's very difficult and, and, and sellers of products don't want to relinquish control. How do, how do we get the consumer's attention and keep it as a car dealer? And businesses don't really realize that the internet's made it easier, not harder, to get the consumer's attention. The question is, how? But before I tell you the answer to how, let me tell you where the consumer's attention is. And it's not only on Facebook. Understand that 23 million people are logging into Facebook in South Africa. Up from 18 million the year before. 23 million. Out of 31 million people on the internet, and out of somewhere between 11, 12, depending on which statistic you believe, I don't think it's even close to over 15 million people who have jobs. People that can actually buy cars. So there's a lot of pent-up potential, but the consumer's attention is on platforms like this. So the massive growth of Facebook over the last couple of years in South Africa, you have to take notice of. We can't ignore it. But not only Facebook, but the other platforms as well. YouTube has had one of the biggest growth spurts. Yes, Instagram, but Instagram's number's low. YouTube has had one of the biggest growth spurts in this country on any platform. It's a very, very important place to be. And that if you haven't started to think and build strategies around these things, you may be caught out. Got to start now. Some urgency when you get back. Don't take my word for it, take Google's word for it. This isn't our number. This is Google's number. There are 2.4 million in-market car shoppers in a month looking to buy cars in South Africa. 2.4 million. And the only reason some dealerships are losing and others are winning big is because they're working the system properly. 
They're not sitting blaming the economy. And those that are doing well are really, really taking this stuff seriously. Not sitting back in the old ways of the way we used to do things. So that's 20% of the working population is in the market to buy a car in a month. There is business out there. We just got to find how to get it. We got to find a way to get this and keep this uh, attention of the consumer. So how do you do that? You can go and brand yourself in the mind of the out of market car shopper in an effective way that means when your brand is built, and because transparency, demand, and supply are at play, that will be the only thing standing in the end, is your brand. How do you build a dealership brand in this world of the internet where, where you don't have your hands on the consumer, you don't know who they are, and they're all anonymous, and you have to relinquish control? The first step is you have to at least be visible to the out-of-market car shopper. You have to at least be there. So if you don't have those platforms, step number one is go and set them up. Because once you've built a brand, and we're going to get into a little bit of the how, once you've built a brand across every platform on the internet, when the consumer comes to a platform like Autotrader to search for a car at, with our captive audience, got a feeling of a bit of trust here. They don't understand why. Something goes on in their head psychologically, but for some reason they feel a connection to your brand because they recognized your brand. And that increases then the likelihood of a sale. In a world where demand, supply, price is transparent and you're all competing with each other for the attention of the consumer. So how do you do this? You've now taken step number one, you're advertising on retail sales platforms, you're marketing to the out-of-market car shopper. Notice the two words that I use, we're going to get to that at the end. You're marketing to the out-of-market car shopper, you've, you've, you've set up on all these platforms, now what? You can't just set the platforms up and expect them to come. Same as when you're on Auto Traders platform, you can't just slap up an ad and expect them to come. It doesn't work that way. You have to do the right things, and the right things are content. Now, that's a, it's a very broad term, a very big word, but content executed in the right way will bring you the attention of the consumer. 